So I'm back again today, uh, today with a 4.5 inch Newtonian that I recently bought. I want to do a small review on it, like show you what it is, what it does, how, how much I paid for it and stuff like that. And um, maybe it will help you out if you are searching for a budget telescope to image deep space. All right, so as you can see, this is a 4.5 inch, it's an F4, so it is 456 millimeters focal length, which is awesome. As you can see, the mirror is very tiny. Now, the main issue I did with this telescope is, um, <laughs> as you know from my previous video, I bought, I bought the one with 1.25 inches focuser. So, if you are buying this, buy the 2 inch, not 1.5 inch, unless you want to make the same modification, modification I did. But it works now, but you will have to modify it. Um, it's a dual speed Crayford. It's a Crayford focuser, not a Reckon Pinion. Crayford means there's ball bearings inside that kind of grab the tube and it goes up and down. And you can, as you can see, it lets go when it does that. You can tighten it and lock it at, at focus as well. How it works is this upper screw puts tension on the tube. Then you have, you have to put quite a bit of tension. Then you move it. Sorry, <laughs> put too much tension. You move it and when you are done, that's it. It's locked in focus. Now when you move, when you move, as you can see, it's not moving the tube, so you are locked at perfect focus and cannot move anymore. This is normally not here, because this is a Bader MPCC comma corrector. Normally there is a there is an adapter here with a 1.5 inch that you can, you can put eyepieces through. So, as you can see, the collimation screws are flush, which is great. They are Allen keys. Um, it doesn't hold collimation that well, because I have used it for a while now. Um, you have to collimate it every session, so be prepared for that. So if you're buying this telescope, if you don't, you don't, you don't know how to collimate an Etonian, which you should. If you're buying an Etonian, you have to to know how to collimate to collimate it. But it's pretty pretty light. It's like two point something kilos, I think only. Um, how I use it now is, as you can see, there's a guide scope foot as well for guiding. How I use it now is, I have this adapter, M42 to M48. I screw it directly to the throw tube, then put the Bader MPCC, 55 millimeters of spacers and the camera, and it reaches focus. Because before it wasn't reaching focus, but this is not a problem with the 2 inch. As Astro La Vista said on YouTube, he found the solution and uh, to put the camera inside, uh, more inside of the, of the telescope and it reaches focus, fine. This is my fault, I bought uh, the wrong focuser telescope. It's interesting about this telescope. It's both interesting and bad at the same time, I will show you. You see these screws? One, two. If you loosen them, you can rotate the tube to put it in the position you like. It's smooth, because I'm doing this kind of one-handed. It's not, not turning very well, but it's smooth. You can see, you see, what what I don't like about it is normally in astrophotography you put the camera at the bottom. In this case you can't, because when you you do like that, it will hit the dovetail. So what you you have to do, if you you put it like this, that it will pull, will pull to one side the equatorial mount, because it's not balanced. What you have to do is put it at the at the top. If you are using no guide scope, if you are using the guide scope, you have to sl offset it slightly. So this axis will become like uh, upwards. 
Um, that's the only downside, but but the the upside, this dovetail is really really high quality. And the tube, is carbon fiber, that's not metal, and it's awesome. So and you see the mirror normally Newtonian reflectors suffer from bad diffraction on spikes. This mirror has a mask already, so you don't need to make a mask. If you own the Skywatcher 130 PDS or 150, you know what I'm talking about. You need to make a, a mask, which is basically a circle to hide the clips of the mirror. This is already done, so you don't have to worry about it. Um, it's an F4, like I said, it's very fast. I have missed a couple of targets with it already. Um, the tube is very high quality. I bought it for uh, 200 89 euros without shipping I won't include shipping because uh, you will pay according to your country so in my case I paid around 50, 50 euros and now as far as coma uh, coma is stretch stars around the edges the telescope suffers from it uh, quite a bit because without a coma corrector I used it and it has about 40% coma at the edges so keep that in mind and with a 585 sensor so bigger sensors even more so that's why i did this fix and like i said if you buy the two inch you don't have to buy, to do any of these fixes you can just use it out of the box this is a really good coma corrector the bother mpcc i recommend it a lot if you buy this telescope buy a coma corrector with it which you should. you should, you should use a common corrector always. So this is not wasted money. You can use it with a lot of telescopes, not just this 4.5 inch. So, um, yeah, I recommend a common corrector because, <laughs> like I said, you, you will image space, yes, but there's, there, will be, there will be a lot of distortions around the edges, which is not nice. You know, if you want to make a nice image, uh, you will have, you will need a common corrector. This cap is kind of nice, it has like a flower <laughs> imprinted on it, it's sturdy as well. So that's the review, and I hope you love this telescope as much as I do. I really enjoy it, this focus is really strong, the, car, the tube is really strong, the mirror has a mask already, so the stars are really good from it. And yeah, it's ready to go out of the box normally. I made the mistake of the focuser, but yeah, that's my mistake, not the telescopes. So, the final verdict. Would I recommend this to an amateur astrophotographer like me that's starting out? Um, yeah, basically, because there's one big plus with these kind of Newtonians. They are chromatic aberration free and the colors are really good from it when you image deep space. I will show you at the end of this video. So yeah, at its price, like 300 euros, I recommend this, yes. But make sure to buy the 2-inch version, like I said and uh, you will be good because basically the two-inch version you can lower the camera inside the tube more unlike this one but yes this fits on the adventure at jti really good because it's well well below its payload capacity and it's really perfect for it actually even a, an altus mount uh, it will be good but you know a quarter mount is better and you can guide through it like perfect astrophotography package all in one and I hope you liked this review. If you did, click thumbs up. And I will see you in the next video. Cheers, guys.